Listen, everyone, this has been one of the most productive weeks we've had. And so, since it's Friday, I thought I'd sweeten up the day. Hey, Dalton, can you go to the fridge and get the treats? Hmm? The sweetie treaties. Can you go get them, please? Yeah. Pretty sweetie, sweetie treaty, sweetie treaty, sweetie. Oh sweetie. my god. Oh my god. What? Is it a bad flavor? I didn't I didn't know what you wanted. I, I have a fear of this. <laughs> I've had nightmares about this. I hope you know that. Oh Tony? My god. Tony, did you put this in the fridge? What? Did you put this in the fridge, Tony? I hardly see why that's relevant. Can you not see one of our, our more sensitive classmates is literally sitting on the floor bawling like a little baby and you're going to lie to him into his sweet little sensitive face? What's in there? Like a little feed or something? Because I might know where those came from. What? No. Like Barbie doll feed. Is that what's in there? You did put doll feed in this fridge, did you? I'm not at liberty to say. Okay, I'm counting to ten. And there are going to be consequences, like, they're going to be really bad if nobody admits and tells me who put this in the fridge. Okay, I'm going to start counting. Ten, nine, eight, seven, hey, eight, Tony, six, no, eight, 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 five, eight, go. Hey, hey, hey there are baby feet in here. Tony! This is the first week of the all new, all day, talented and gifted class for any student that wants. I am super excited. The superintendent approved it and it was, it was my idea. I hope things go well. I know these little guys are just as excited as I am about their learning and their projects. And I don't know, maybe we'll even join a little family together. All right. I know you guys want to get started right away, but there's a few things I want to clear up before we get going. Hey, listen up, everyone. Okay. Jenna's been acting like a teacher's pet, uh, just to make everyone else look bad. It's definitely trying to irk some people. I, I don't even know if Mrs. Rollins likes it. Okay, whoever is playing that music needs to turn it off now. It is really disrespectful for me and the other students who are actually trying to make this work. Jenna, sit down. So, first of all, I got a call from the superintendent, and he says he's super excited to come over and see what you guys have been working on. So remember, let's stay focused. Like. Maybe we could stop playing Tetris and maybe work on a project. I wasn't feeling inspired and uh, Tetris is uh, my inspiration. Hmm. Also, another thing is the language we've been using around. Oh, a paper cut! What did I just say? I can remove him if you want. Sit down, clown. Shut up, Dalton. So, does this make sense, everyone? Everyone has a project to show, right? Awesome. Great. So, I think we should get the juices flowing, like get some inspiration. Weatherman Courtney, why don't you read the news? Yeah. 
I told Miss Rollins at the beginning of the week that I was interested in journalism, and now every day she's asking me to read the news out loud to the class and calling me Weatherman Courtney. I don't know if she thinks I want to be a meteorologist or if she actually thinks I'm a guy. And that's slightly more concerning. Weatherman Courtney, you want to read that? Um, I don't think it's very motivating. Just read it. Orphanage burns down. Community devastated. Cause still unknown. Ooh. Well, I guess we can get some motivation from the fact that we weren't in that situation, right? Being an orphan? No, what I'm trying to say is that we can all be motivated to try and solve problems like this. So, Dalton, what are you working on to solve the problems of the world? I'm working on stopping orphanage fires. Well, I'll wait for that. No, um, actually this is the third case of an unexplained fire here in the past two months. I've been researching arson in this town for other reasons. I just think it's very interesting. I don't see why this is a big deal. It's a unique subject. Well, what's the average amount of fires in a month? Is that unusually high? Yeah, it's not really dry or hot here, so any number of fires is pretty high. I'd like to see your source on that. There are four cases of arson in 1999 within a month of each other. <laughs> what? What is so weird about enjoying town history? Okay, so that's a yes on unusual amounts of fire. Oh my god. Guys, I just don't like an arsonist running around trying to burn my house down. Why would an arsonist burn down your house? I wasn't always a teacher, you know. I can't say much, but Garcias, if you're watching, I should have cut those ropes when I had the chance. Is there any reason for this not being plugged in? New fire code, Rollins said it herself. Yeah, but can I still pop it? No! Her? Stop, what are you doing? They say you should fight fire with fire, but I'd say they're wrong. My Aunt Edna tried that once, and when the fire department showed up, they didn't bring fire. They brought water. So, it's kind of a confusing thing to tell people, don't you think? 3,239 deaths were from house fires in 2015. Nice. And just think, that could have been one of you. And that's not a risk we can take in this place of learning and knowledge. Just think of how many great minds we've lost to fires. Actually, you can blame a lot of those on various uh, religious groups in medieval Europe, so... Okay, so you won't take me seriously? Maybe this will make you change your mind. This is going to be real footage of a fire where people were actually hurt. Wait, what? Well, no, no, you can't, can't show, show that. that. You can't show this. Stop. You can't show this. Opposite. Like, the furthest opposite I could go. Does anybody have a soda? I've been trying to stay healthy and only drink half the can, but then when I leave it, it gets flat. So then I refresh it with a new one. I've got some coconut water in my bag. Ew, no! Why would you Ugh. even suggest that? Anybody? Nobody? Fine. I'll go get one then. But remember, projects. Let's get them done. The superintendent really is coming in today. And I don't think we have anything to show him. I mean, I, I made this. Uh, what, what does it do? Just watch. This took a week to make. Listen guys. 
It's really fun to mess around in here, but unless we can get an actual physical project to show the superintendent, we're screwed, okay? What, you guys weren't working on projects? Oh, so you've got one? Of course. Show? I've been coming in here and actually working, unlike the rest of you, apparently. It's okay, Jenna. Mrs. Rollins is gone. You don't have to still be kissing her butt. Oh, how about you show me what you've done, you little ingrid? I'm sure baking soda volcanoes have been very difficult. Hey, no need to fight now. I think we can just show Jenna's project and say we all worked on it. That's There's a no good way. idea. Yeah, perfect. Yeah, that's great. Yes. If they seriously think that I'm going to sacrifice the week's worth of work that I... I don't have anything either. I've been trying to sell stocks online for the past week. Most of the sites you have to be 18 for, and I'm only 17 and a half, so I've been having a tough time. To think, if only I'd been conceived a bit earlier. If I could go back in time and convince my parents to... Can, can we scratch that? Can we scratch that last part? Listen, you're the only one that's got anything. Unless somebody else has something we can show, we've got nothing. No, I refuse. You should've been working too. I made a square, okay? I'm gonna say I, I did do that. Oh my god. I might have something. Well, uh, go ahead, buddy. Uh, we can't discuss it here. Where else is there to discuss it? I mean, where are they going? Where are you going? Follow me, lady. Follow me. Nobody has any projects, except for me, and I refuse to let my hard work be passed off as some sloppy group project. But I'm willing to help, so let's try and think of something passable as a group. It's an open forum. Any ideas? Um... What if we 3D printed food? Yes. Uh, how about a wheel that rolls on its side? Replace all of the water fountains in the school with sandwich bars. A sandcastle witch. What? A sandcastle witch. A sandwich castle? Uh, how, how about earbuds, but instead of uh, playing to you, it, it plays to the room when you turn it up. So speakers. A device that jails people before they commit a crime. You can't jail someone just for thinking about committing a crime. There's no proof. They did that in 1984. Beautiful book. So I've brought you guys here for a reason. There, there might be bugs in the room. So you know those little uh, packets they put in like drinks and stuff? Yeah. Yeah. Well, I have significant proof that the moon landing was fake. There's no way the government could have funded for them to go to the moon by then. Even with technology. Jerome, you said a project. What, where's the project? Oh, yeah, um, well. I can't give you a project, but if you f give me like twenty, thirty thousand dollars, we can get proof no, that. No, no. <laughs> Stop talking. <sighs> okay. All right. I know what we're gonna do. Wait. What are you Here doing? We go. Here no, don't. We can't just like leave school. Stop. Stop what talking. are you doing? Stop. Put Stop. no. I'm, we're you, driving now. Stop. We're gonna get in trouble. Goodbye. Goodbye. We're leaving. No. I have a problem with decisions. I'm really not going to eat all these. Hey, where's Dalton? Bathroom. Where's Courtney? Bathroom.
first room. Bathroom. You're lying to me, Jenna. He's deathly afraid of pooping in public. He's going pee. We need to stop. Can it wait? I don't think so. Oh, okay, all right, all right. You're not throwing up in my car. Hold on. Hang on. Um, do you think it'll work? <sighs> yeah. Yeah, it should work. I guess it's worth a shot. On the bright side, I think we've done more work than the whole class this whole week. Yeah, you're right. Are you car sick? No, I just... We we just left school unannounced like that, and it's just I just oh don't like breaking on, the rules. You little cry you baby. Cry baby. Oh. Hey, come on. I can't believe I stopped the car for that. Oh my God. Everybody, listen up. Behold our project, the Post-it Toaster. Passing pending. What is it? The Post-it Toaster. I don't understand. Well, it's pretty self-explanatory. We got ourselves a standard toaster here. Uh, but, somebody throw me a marker. Thanks. We can fully customize it. Draw whatever you like on here. Got a little face there, a little heart here. And uh, basically, uh, you can fill it all up, and once you're done with it, you just throw it away. We originally thought it'd be good to have it reusable, but we figured more revenue is good for business, so we use super glue. You didn't have a project, did you? Uh, yeah, we did. You think we just went to a thrift store and st stuck paper all over a toaster? Because we did not do that. Okay, we did. Uh, we did. We did do that. You lied to me. We only lied because... We didn't know what else to do, okay? Hello? Oh, Superintendent Ross, yes. Is there anything I can help you with? Oh, yeah. So you wanna, you're not going to be able to make it in today. You just want me to tell you how things are going and email them to you and what they've been working on? Okay. Yeah. Yes, they, they have a project. Yep, they have a prototype. Things are going great. You want me to send it to you? Okay. I'll send it right over. All right. Yep, you'll be hearing from us soon. Yep, take care. Thanks for calling. Mm-hmm, bye-bye. Yes! Yeah. We did it. We did do it. You're we right. saved the class. Yeah. We did it. Woo, yeah. Hey guys, it's here! The superintendent emailed his response to the post-it toaster. Thank you for submitting your class project, the post-it toaster. However, it simply isn't something I believe that deserves the funding for an all-day class. I'm hereby cutting funding for the all-day class and replacing it with a 45-minute study period immediately. Does anybody else smell something burning? They can't say we didn't try. With the poster toaster, we did try. Hey, they tried their hardest and that's not bad. I don't know why you put paper inside the toaster. Like, where's the sense? Do you even have functioning brains? Hey guys, there's the fire trucks. <laughs>